Hi there, welcome back to my channel. My name is Clara Z and I do videos on luxury handbags and fashion items. How have you been doing? I hope you have been doing well. However, due to the current COVID situation, I haven't been filming. However, because I did purchase a bag about two months ago, I did have a couple of subbies who were a bit curious about this bag. So here I am today to share with you to talk a bit about a bag I picked up about two months ago, and it is the Trendy CC camera bag so i think a lot of you will be familiar with the trendy cc flap bag you see that all over youtube and instagram however you may have seen this bag less it is in the small size it is more rectangular and considered a camera bag it also has the top handle and the shoulder or crossbody strap however as you can see it is in the shape of a camera bag which is more rectangular and has a slightly more casual vibe versus the trendy cc flat bag whereas i feel that bag is a bit more dressed up however i do notice that a lot of girls have been able to dress up and dress down that bag but this bag actually really sung to me. I did see the trendy CC flat bag in store and I tried both but to be honest I felt this bag was more my style and I also like that this bag although small can fit a lot. So let me tell you a bit about this bag and then I'm going to show you a bit about what's inside and I will put modeling shots at the end. I haven't really had a chance to use this bag yet so I can't really tell you about the pros and cons. And finally I'm going to also show you a few items I picked up during the 20P and 20S, a pair of earrings and also a card case. So let me show you this bag first. So you can see this is the front of the bag. It is in lambskin. There is a flap here with the CC logos. This is the side. As you can see, the first flap has a double zip and this one is more of a single zip. Here is the back. There is no back pocket. The other side, the bottom has four feet and the top has that trendy CC plaque and this has a top handle as you can see here and it has the shoulder slash crossbody bag. This one, this strap, it can be tucked inside the bag so if you wanted to tuck the strap inside the bag you could do it and just hold it as a hand carry and the hand carry does fit through my arm and it can be held like the crook of my arm like that and the dimensions of this bag based on my measurements because I couldn't really find this bag online is about 20 centimeters across here and then it was uh, I believe uh, 10 by 12 uh, along the length and the width. Let's get into this bag so I can show you how much this bag fits. So I'm going to start off with the back side. As you can see, the zipper goes all the way down on the front side, but not all the way down on the back side. And the back side is a single zip. It has the CC logo zips, as you can see there. And I'm just going to unzip the back part so you can see what I put in the bag. I would say this bag is pretty much at full capacity. So I open up the back and you see I have in here my wallet slash beer and card case. I also have another card holder for extra cards. I have wet wipes, so that fits across the width of the bag. I have a chocolate bar and I have a mask holder to hold my mask when I'm eating. And basically the interior of the bag is also leather. And at the back, there is a slip pocket at the back there. I don't know if you can see it. However, that can definitely fit credit cards and whatnot. And then the other panel at the front has a double zip. So I've seen some girls where they've kind of zipped it up 
along here and been able to get stuff inside or you could fully unzip the top part here and I have in here my sunglasses sorry I dropped my lipstick but my lipstick was in there and then I have my mini camera this is an RX100 uh, I believe it's the latest one, RX100 M7, with the tripod. Um, so this can fit a very tiny point and shoot camera. I have my AirPods, a pen, and a hand sanitizer. So it fits quite a bit. And if you look on the inside there, it also has a back zippered compartment at the back here i don't know if you can see that and then in the front it has two slip pockets along with a pocket uh, for the lipstick and then of course you have here at the front a slip pocket here and just to kind of show you um, how deep that is i have a chanel car case holder so if i slip that at the front here you can see it slightly juts out, but it fits. But I probably wouldn't put a card holder in there. Maybe I might slip some receipts, my Metro card, um, or some parking tickets. So some of you may be wondering uh, whether a full-size wallet might fit this. And it is a small bag. I would consider this a small slash mini bag. So just for the purposes of demonstration, here is a Chanel full-size wallet and the front part of it I think is a very very tight fit because it has this flap on the side that takes up a bit of the space I could put it at the back part because the back part doesn't have that extra flappy space that bends in so I can put this in but it is a an extremely as you can see it's a very tight fit so I probably wouldn't recommend using a full-size wallet with this and if any of you do have this case the cell phone holder I can tell you for sure that it does not fit it is going to jut out a bit in case you're wondering if this mobile phone holder will fit or not. I would basically use something like an O case or a car case, just like as if you would downsize for any type of a mini or small handbag. I would say that why this bag fits a lot is because the base and the sides are really wide and hence you can hold a lot more inside this bag. However, if you have a full-size wallet, you may want to downsize on that. However, you can see that both sides are huge holes and so you can fit a lot on both sides. So I told myself I probably would never buy lambskin again given my poor experience with lambskin in the past. However, I do like the feel of this and I do plan to use this and I don't expect it to be in pristine condition after use. I do intend to use this bag a lot and if it scuffs, it scuffs. If it scratches, it scratches. The good thing about it being black is that if it does scratch or scuff, it would be easier to repair or cover if that situation arises. Of course, I hope I never have to do that, but given that it is black, it does make it slightly a bit more easier to handle. So uh, we'll see what this bag is like after using it for hopefully a year or two, and maybe I can give you an update on my experience with this lambskin bag. So I'm just gonna quickly pull in the straps to show you what it looks like with the chains tucked in so you can see here there are some stoppers inside so you can pull this in like so so there you go this is the bag with the chain tucked in i am about 
5'4", and it hits me approximately at where my hip is, and I don't find it too short. I can crossbody this bag, or I can shoulder carry it. I don't mind that it does come up slightly higher because it's a bit more secure. So I can show you, it hits my hip at around here. My hip bone is about here. So that's what it looks like cross-bodied on the side. And I can carry this on the crook of my arm like so. But anyways, I saw this bag and I thought it was so cute and it did spark joy. And I believe they've issued this bag in the past before. Uh, my essay told me that it's more common to see this in the larger size. However, I do prefer this side as a casual bag just for my essentials plus. Um, and it's a very cute bag that I'm really looking forward to using once I get the chance to go out. So I wanted to share just two more items I picked up during the 20P20S uh, collection. So yeah, those are super sparkly. And on me, just to kind of show you what they kind of look like. They kind of look like this. So because I do have longer hair, um, earrings that are too small, just simply don't stand out. They get all covered by my super long hair, which by the way, really needs to be cut. It's so long now, it's driving me nuts and the weather is getting very warm in Hong Kong. It's getting closer to 30 degrees, so I can't wait to cut my hair. But yeah, I thought these were really pretty and they really remind me of some of the Chanel jacket buttons just really pretty and really sparkly. Uh, some of you have asked, do the crystals fall off of Chanel earrings or brooches? I have not had issues ever before. I know Chanel used to charge you if you wanted to bring it in and get it repaired. However, I believe the current policy, unless it's changed again, is that they will fix that for you for free. So another item that I picked up during the 20P20S uh, season, was da -da, an SLG. Yes. I kept telling myself no SLGs, but being a sucker for pink, I really wanted to get the small kind of a crossbody shoulder mini vanity bag. However, they didn't have it and I love the color. And hence I picked up the Chanel pink O case and I do have the O case in other colors. I do have the O case in this beautiful iridescent pink color. The only difference between this one and this one is that this one has the back pocket and the number of gussets on the inside. This one has three and this one, uh, actually it also has three. However, I was always under the impression that this one was a bit wider, uh, the one with the back pocket. So I have yet to see if it actually carries more, but I know these O cases I've used a lot in the past and you can actually put a lot of cash, coins, and even a key um, tells you how much I've overstuffed mine. Uh, this one I have in particular is made in Spain. I don't know if you can see that. I don't have that many pieces that are actually made in Spain. Uh, so this actually might be my first one made in Spain. A lot of my pieces are generally either um, made in France or made in Italy. So the workmanship looks fine, uh, but like all Chanel items, the items are generally pretty limited and my store only received a few of these. And I was really fortunate that my essay uh, had reserve this for me. So I don't know how the color is showing up on camera. Um, it is 
more of a bubblegum pink and being the sucker for pink that I am um, and because I do use my Chanel O cases quite a bit as you can see with all my pink items I did uh, pick up this O case yeah I have a lot of pink so that wraps up a couple of the items that I have picked up over the past two months to share with you. Uh, I do have a couple of other items I picked up that I will share with you in a future video. However, uh, wherever you are, I hope you're safe. I hope you're healthy. And if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them down in the comments below. Also, I'd really appreciate it if you do like and subscribe to my videos if you enjoyed this video and also if you have any other questions you can also ask me on my Instagram which is at Clarazilla which is which is the same as my YouTube name so I hope you're doing well and thank you so much for watching this video I hope this video was useful for you and again I wish you a good day good health stay well and I look forward to speaking to you again sometime soon have a good day. Bye now.